This video is sponsored by Canva. Uh, I could use a drink. You? No. Uh, uh, the motherfucker thinks she can drag me down. What's wrong now? Oh, man. Uh, sure. Listen. Uh, where to begin? I don't know. Let me put it like this. If a guy makes a mistake, should that ruin his life? Now, people don't understand how life is. Life is like a, a bowl of fruit, slowly rotting in a hot hey, kitchen. I don't give a fuck about the life lessons, friend. What do you want? I'm a good guy. I, he's got it all wrong. He's got but one stain on my character, and I'm finished. I want to make a difference. What? <sighs> Well, I suppose there has to be one in every family. So what makes Francis McCreary the black sheep in a family of black sheep? As the second eldest and heir to the McCreary crime family, Francis has long since proven that he would instead not represent his crooked family name. But does that make him a saint? No. As much as he wants to deny it, his hypocrisy puts him on a different level of crooked. If his ideologies of things needing to be either his way or the highway don't first. So today we'll dive into the deceptive mindset of the two-faced McCreary to see just how sticky his slime really is. Born in 1963, Francis started off as an altar boy, growing up in an Irish Catholic home. He was never on good terms with none of his siblings because unlike his brothers, who are all at the very least honest about their demons, Francis was always less sincere about his. Before becoming a cop, he once aspired to be a priest, but was caught cheating on his final qualification test. Not to mention how he would use to steal money from the church's collection plate as a kid. But as a corrupted police officer, Francis' philosophy is that eliminating petty criminals, 1% at a time, all under the radar of the justice system is the right way to clean up the streets. So basically a Frank Tenpenny if you made him Irish. One day, during a publicity spot with Manny Escuela, Francis is introduced to Nico Bellic, who's working for the vigilante to help clean up the streets. And later on, he arranges a meeting with Nico at Castle Gardens via text message. It is there that Francis reveals knowing everything about his wrongdoings, and blackmails Nico into doing dirty work for him in exchange for Francis condoning his crimes. All of his jobs to Nico are essentially helping Francis to protect his squeaky clean cop image by getting rid of Vanny and all trying to expose him. One of them being a blackmailer with photo evidence against him the other being a lawyer known as Tom Goldberg, with his own evidence against the corrupted cop. And last but not least, two drug dealers, one of which the player could either choose to kill or spare, who threatens to snitch on Francis to the cops. Francis eventually learns that his older brother Derek is back from Ireland. He freaks out as Derek intends on exposing his corruption to the press, not just out of spite, but in exchange for money. Not wanting anything to stand in his way of becoming the commissioner of the LCPD, he blackmails Nico into killing Derek. While Nico gets set up, he meanwhile organizes a meeting with his brother at a park in Lancet, and as the two reconnect, the player must make a choice. If Francis is killed, he is buried at the Colony Island Cemetery after everyone survives the Albanian mob ambush. If Derek is killed, Francis will pretend to grieve over his brother and presumably becomes commissioner. But Nico isn't done with him just yet. He decides to exploit the corrupted cop for his services by blackmail, to which Francis begrudgingly goes along with. His service to Nico is keeping police attention off of him anytime he gets in trouble with the law a service that's only useful up until story completion. 